Hello, welcome to Klaus Team TV. And today we just want to talk about where does our Arizona power come from? And today we've got Arizona Corporation Commissioner Kevin Thompson. Welcome. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. So where does our power come from in Arizona? Um, a plethora of areas. So uh, right now our makeup in Arizona is about 46% from natural gas. We have about 10% from solar. Uh, 27% comes from our big Palo Verde nuclear plant out in the West Valley. 5% hydro, 10% from coal, and about 1% from wind. So let's talk about that big power plant. How much longer do we have that for? You know, knock on wood, at least through 2040. Um, you know, I think the utilities do a tremendous job of, of keeping that plant up and running and doing the routine maintenance on it that keeps it in shape. And so it's an older plant, but uh, it's still chugging right along. So hopefully uh, it will go well into the future because it is the backbone of our, of our grid. So as you look forward into the future, what do you think our most reliable source of power for the long term of Arizona? Well, I think as technology develops, you'll see more and more renewables come online. But right now, uh, we really need the battery storage uh, to be able to to handle our peak loads. Right now, uh, the batteries can only handle about three hours of, of discharge, mm -hmm. and so there, you know, technology is advancing daily. Uh, they're working on batteries now that may may be able to hold charge for uh, or discharge for eight to twelve hours, and that'll be a game changer. So if we can get to that point. Uh, renewables will certainly play uh, a major factor uh, in Arizona because we have plenty of sunshine. <laughs> but, uh, you know, right now it's uh, all of the above approach to keep the lights on. How much of an issue is it going to be the more that we start to rely on electricity to power our vehicles? Um, well, th it's interesting because I, a uh, good friend of mine that I worked with DOD to come up with uh, the number of registered uh, gasoline and diesel vehicles in Arizona, including fleet, and to convert um, every vehicle, registered gasoline and diesel vehicle in Arizona would take two and a half more times Palo Verdes. So <laughs> um, a lot of power, a lot of power. All right, well, thank you so much. Absolutely, Scott, thank you, appreciate it.